What recent decision will save lives? Find out on the latest edition of The Rundown. Welcome back to the spring 2024 edition of The Rundown, where we bring you up to speed on what you need to know to protect your family and your finances. I'm Ware Wendell, Executive Director of Texas Watch. We're a nonpartisan group that stands up for consumers and our courts at the Texas Capitol. Let's get into it. The Texas Panhandle has been devastated by wildfires with over 1 million acres burned, hundreds of homes destroyed, thousands of livestock killed, and at least two lives tragically lost. It is the largest wildfire in the state's history. We commend Speaker Dade Phelan for acting quickly to create the House Investigative Committee on the Panhandle Wildfires. This committee will investigate factors contributing to the wildfires, allocation of resources, and the effectiveness of the disaster response, and coordination between governmental entities. When it comes to resources, it is so important to ensure property owners in the Panhandle are being paid on their insurance claims promptly and fully so they can get back on their feet. On our Storm Help site, you can find a collection of insurance resources if you or a loved one needs to file a claim. Deanna Zoga with NBC5 in Dallas-Fort Worth has produced a great report on best practices if you have an insurance claim after an extreme weather event. And we recently published an alert about the recent Rodriguez versus Safeco opinion issued by the Texas Supreme Court, which makes it harder for homeowners and business owners to recover their attorney's fees if they have a weather related insurance claim. The Texas legislature is going to need to step in and fix this problem so policyholders are made whole. The links to all of these resources can be found below. The EPA has just announced a comprehensive ban on asbestos, the deadly carcinogen that kills tens of thousands of Americans each year. It's hard to believe, but asbestos was still being used in some products in our country. The United States now joins more than 50 other countries in protecting its citizens from this killer. Lives will be saved, and we thank the EPA for taking definitive action. We discussed asbestos and its deadly legacy with Professor Jeffrey B. Simon in the latest edition of our interview series, In Conversation. It was a wide-ranging talk about important topics raised in his new book, Last Rites, and you can watch the full video in the link provided below. Patient Safety Week took place this month, and we produced a series of infographics to educate the public about the ongoing need to protect patients from preventable medical errors. Each year, more than 250,000 lives are stolen by this carelessness and incompetence. John Oliver's Last Week Tonight recently reported on medical boards and how they allow bad doctors to keep harming patients. He highlighted KXAN's excellent series entitled Still Practicing. We were glad to work with investigative journalist Matt Grant and leading lawmakers to help pass a law that will give the Texas Medical Board more tools to catch bad doctors. Be sure to learn more in the links below. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe to help spread the word. Remember, knowledge is power and your voice matters. We appreciate you joining us in this cause for justice.